Hey guys, hey guys, it's Transformers337, I'm back, and again, Alishika 70 e again, sorry if I misspelled it, here you go, here's a review of him, I did it in a two part, so here he is, um, before I get into him and how I, how I rate it and all, all that fun stuff I do, um, I'm gonna, actually guys, do you guys want me to do a battle scene of the Cyberverse guys, if you do, comment, Saying yes, I would like to see a battle scene Transformers 337. It would be fun to see. Yeah. Anyway, here he is. I like his whole. I like his head. Definitely cartoon accurate. I know you guys can't see it, but I will try to vision it. Yeah, you guys can't see that. Anyway, you can tell he has yellow eyes. Kind of. I don't know. Anyway, um, you got. I like his. He kind of has gorilla's arms to me, but what I like thinking is that, as you can tell, his arm is kind of molded in. But uh, I like thinking that's like his add-on claw. And his legs, I, I popped that off for a reason. He kind of has a knee joint, but it's inverted if you peg it on the correct way. But what I like doing, if I ever do want to pose him a certain way, I take both legs, okay, both come off, position them where... It's like that, so it's basically opposite. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna have to... Hang on, guys. Let me just show you this real quick. Alright, well, as you can tell, there's the knee joint. And then, here's that. You put it out this way, you remember. And you just pop in like, like that. And then... Crap, I dropped it. Do the same thing on the other side. Ah. All right, well, well, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys, for stopping. I know something happened to my camera. Anyway, here he is with his inverted knees. Um, so now he kind of looks like he has a knee joint. Like his knee, cause that's not how his knee's supposed to bend. But I, I kind of like it. It kind of gives him a knee joint. But it doesn't go that far without breaking it. But I like it. Um. Overall, pers pers oh, by the way, they have a Decepticon symbol right there. I mean, I think if I actually do a battle, I think I'll actually use them like that. Be all decapitated. Anyway, um, my overall thing of this, since if you guys have the money to buy the Voyager. Buy it. Just buy it. If you collect the Cyberverse guys, go ahead. Get him. But I still say, if you're a Prime guy and you like collecting them, or you just have the Prime guys, definitely get the Voyager. Um, Hasbro did say they might come out with another uh, breakdown version. We might get one. No one knows when. They won't say anything, but if we got one, that's all good. That's great. Well, so my overall thing for this guy, I say... Four out of three. No, four out of ten. Four out of ten. Because he... I like him. If you collect Cyberverse guys and get him. If you like the character Breakdown and you want to and you want to collect every Breakdown they ever made. With the name Breakdown. Then get him. Or oh, whatever. If you just want Transformers Prime, Cyberverse, and Big Guy, and the Deluxe Class, or Powerizer, any, like, characters, whatever, go ahead. Just, I say... Get them if you see them, and if you like it, and you have the money for it on you. If you not, it's definitely a pass. You don't. It's not recommended. You don't need it. But all right, well, here he is. Here's my review of Transformers Cyberverse Breakdown. That I'm not pronouncing the name again. This person requested. So here it is, and guys, if you need any other reviews you want me to do, look at my back, of my Dreadwing, of my, if you want my, um, what, my Cyberverse guys you want me to review, which I'm actually going to, I'm thinking about it, I think for this whole past couple of weeks, I'm going to do all my Cyberverse guys, so if you want a Cyberverse review, tell me, and I'll make sure that's the first one that goes up, okay? Alright, well, here you go. Here he is. Alright. Later, guys.